It's coming up to holiday, so I thought I'd make a video for beginner students so that they've got a routine over the holidays and they don't forget everything that they've learnt this term. First thing is unzipping the violin case, which can be quite an event for little kids. And a little lesson in itself. Open up the case. Take out the blanket. Don't lose it. Take the Velcro out. The shoulder rest. Open it up. And a good way to remember is if the violin is upside down, the shoulder rest should make a smiley face. So upside down violin, shoulder, shoulder rest makes a smiley face. Now hook it on one side and then pull it across. And there you've got your shoulder rest. Next part is the bow. When you're handling the bow, be careful not to touch the bow hair. So the oils in our skin can make the bow hair slippery and you'll have to keep putting rosin on it. Tighten up the bow, the screw on the end here, uh, clockwise. Not too tight, and only until you can fit about a pinky in the middle. Once the violin's all ready to go, the next thing you need to think about is the posture. So we'll start with the bow. I teach the bunny rabbit bow hold. So make a circle with your two middle fingers with the thumb and then curl the outer fingers over. Bring in the bow, so right hand in the bow, put the ring finger on the dot, middle finger next to it, bring the thumb under, make a circle with the thumb, first finger lies down on the black part and the pinky sits on the tip of the finger towards the end of the bow. And there's your bunny rubber bow hold. The violin goes in the left hand, Hold it here with the wood of the violin and before you put it on your shoulder, put it under your right arm in rest position. So all students should know all of these uh, routines by now. So with your left hand, put, put it on your violin, bring it out in front of you, turn it upside down and it goes on your left shoulder. So if you're a pirate and you've got a parrot on your shoulder, you're going to have to get rid of that parrot because that's where your violin's going to go. Put it up on your shoulder and then turn your head so that it's sitting on the chin rest. And then carefully take your hand away and you should have perfect posture. Before you put the bow and the violin together, a good idea is just to get comfortable with the violin and with your right hand you can pluck the strings. So put your thumb in the corner of the uh, end of the fingerboard there and you can pluck the string a few times each play a few different rhythms you can make up some words and then try to pluck out the rhythms for that once you've done that pick up the bow try your best to remember the bow hold it's a lot to remember when you've got the violin and the bow together and start with open strings on the E string Four long bows for each string. A string. Next string is D string. And G. After you've done that, try a few rainbows. Uh, most of my students know what they are. It's simply just starting on the G string and then drawing the bow right across all the four strings and back over again. Make sure you've got a nice smooth movement in your right arm.
Try to keep the bow straight and in between the bridge and the end of the fingerboard for a good sound. Playing with the fingers requires you to have an excellent posture for your violin and that it's secure under your chin and on top of your shoulder. So bring the hand out and most, most kids have got a star on the side of their violin. This one doesn't. Star and a couple of lines. They might have some lines across the fingerboard as well to help them putting the lines, uh, putting the fingers in the right spot. So what I say is put your thumb on the star and then just start with an open E string, but have your first finger curled down ready to place it on the first finger line. So play two bows of open E and then two bows of first finger and then take it off again. Now first finger. Off. And now try it on A string. And of course you can try it on the other strings as well. G string. Now once you've got comfortable with that, you can repeat the same thing but adding second finger this time. So you can go one, two, and even third finger. And then go backwards, two, one, open E. Another good thing to do for practice is playing but uh, different open strings. So E string, A string, Once you can play the fingers, one, two, and three, and comfortable with crossing the string, and the rainbows will help with that as well, uh, you can start to play a little tune like twinkles, like this. E string. First finger on E string. And then open E string. So most students will be able to do that uh, pretty soon. Uh, and then, of course, the whole piece as well. So. I hope that you can practice um, uh, maybe five days a week during the holidays. Um, doesn't take long, maybe about 10 or 15 minutes a day. That's all it takes. But if you um, just chip along every day, then uh, over two weeks it does add up and uh, students will come back and we'll be able to go straight into uh, learning a piece like Twinkles. So good luck and have a nice holiday. Violin Virtuosos with Rodney and Anthea Wickstrom. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel all strings related education videos. Visit our website violinvirtuosos.com.au and like our Violin Virtuosos Facebook page.